Right, uh, are you ready for a big one today? It's the uh, Samsung Music Frame. So, yeah, this isn't just a picture of Jerry the dog. Uh, it's actually a speaker as well. And um, it doesn't come with a picture of Jerry the dog. It comes with this random abstract one or this, you know, those are in the box. If you want your speaker to have that generic sort of motel room art, then you can stick with those, or you can put your own in, or you can order others. Uh, but as you can see, uh, Jerry's here, and um, it's actually quite a simple process. Uh, we'll get into this thing, is how we're talking to it. Uh, that just uh, pulls off that front cover. So it's the speaker. And there you can see... There's a specially designed grill behind the picture. This is quite weighty, it's nearly five kilos, this thing. Uh, we'll just pop that down. And if I can just show you, so you, you know, you've got the front there and the mat, and it's all quite nicely designed at the back, that all just pops off and you can, you know, swap out, swap out your art on there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, let's get back to the main event here. Uh, so uh, yes, the speaker it comes with a stand, but it also comes uh, with a wall bracket. Uh, so you can uh, hang it on the wall as well. Uh, and then it will uh, just look like another piece of art. So it's great uh, if you want to um, uh, yeah, have speakers that don't really look like speakers, I guess. Um, so if I show you the back of this thing, uh, as, I, as I say, it's quite hefty. You can see that uh, we've got some big sort of uh, woofery cones, horns, whatever you call those things on the back there. And yes, this does produce a very uh, big sound, full range, room filling Dolby Atmos um, sound, big stereo uh, separation comes out of this. Uh, so yeah, um, just as a, using it as a standalone speaker, uh, uh, it'll really uh, f fill, fill up your room and um, yeah, you won't you won't be disappointed with that. Uh, works uh, with uh, Alexa. Works with Apple Home. Uh, works with Google. You can cast to it uh, if you want to. You can Bluetooth to it. it. You know, it does all of that stuff. Now, I do have a little criticism. Um, the physical controls on this thing around the back. So if you can see them there. There we've got your volume controls, the mute there. Um, and now, not only are they hard to get to, especially if it's you know hung flush against the wall, but it's black on black, so they're impossible to see as well, and they don't seem to light up either. Uh, so yeah, it just becomes if you're using those, it, you, I just end up pushing buttons at random until something happens. To be perfectly honest, uh, but I mean that's not what it's designed to do. It's designed to be used, you know, with your virtual assistants uh, anyway. Uh, and that's not the only way uh, that you can use it. I might just put Jerry back, back on it if I can. There we go. Oh, just like that. Oh, he's back on there. Um, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll come to that shortly, uh, the other ways that we can use the speaker. First, uh, let's uh, uh, set it up and have a listen and see how it goes. Right, so here's the music frame in its natural environment, if you like. Literally just pretending to be a picture, hiding behind a plant. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I run Alexa in my house, but remember it works with um, uh, Apple Home. So you can ask Siri to do things. Um, it'll work with Google Home as well. All the homes, uh, including um, Alexa. Play Spotify. Okay, here's Spotify. Um, so yeah, I find that it provides this really nice, warm, rich, roomy uh, sound, good atmosphere. For background especially and it's really quite room filling uh, you've got six speakers in here apparently Alexa set the volume to 10 percent so yeah I find controlling it with your voice is actually a little bit easier than fiddling around with those buttons as I was as I was saying 
And don't worry, it definitely gets loud. Alexa, play Pacifier by Shehad. Alexa, set the volume to 50%. Okay, <laughs> sorry for blasting your radio out there. Yes, this will get, uh, it is a bit of a problem if you're using a voice activated speaker like this that uh, that gets as loud as this one does. It will get to a point where it won't be able to hear any instructions you give it anymore. And so then you'll have to resort to those buttons that are hard to find around the back or um, yeah, go onto the app that you've used to pair it. Um, so you can pair it with the Smart Things app. And the great thing about that is uh, you can then, of course, uh, pair it uh, with other uh, Samsung, especially, devices. And so uh, I don't know if you uh, had a look at my um, uh, S95D um, OLED TV review last week, but I um, yeah paired that TV up with two of these uh, to use as rear speakers, as surround speakers. And thanks to the Q Symphony mode on um, late model Samsung TVs, uh, yeah, you can elect you can elect to do that, and all connects wirelessly, and um, you can use these at the front, uh, which is great news for anybody who owns a Samsung frame or is thinking of of, of using a Samsung frame TV, which is the one that looks like a picture on the wall, because then you can put a couple of more pictures on the wall beside it. None of them look like a TV or a set of speakers, but they will work exactly that way uh, when you when you fire it all up. So yeah, I demonstrated that uh, in that review last week if you want to go back and, and have a look, but yeah, that worked really, really well. So um, yeah, overall, uh, I'm, I'm really happy with, with this. Uh, if you do have other Alexa speakers in the, in the house, for example, I'm not sure how well it works. I haven't really tried it out so much with other you know, Apple HomePods or um, you know, Google Nest speakers and things like that. But certainly with the other Alexa speakers I, I have, it does get a bit confusing if, you, if they're all uh, set up for the same wake word. So if you, know, if, if you use the A word, I won't say it now because I don't probably have speakers that will fire off if I say it. Uh, it does get a bit confusing as to which speaker you're, that you're talking to. But luckily on some of those speakers you can change that wake word and to avoid that sort of thing. Or you can just mute um, and um, you know, tell uh, Alexa which speaker you want to play the music on. But yeah, I'm very impressed uh, the, of all the, the wireless standalone speakers uh, that, that I've reviewed uh, over the last few years. Uh, this is right up there with the best of them, and it doesn't even look like a speaker. Uh, yeah, you can put it anywhere, um, have whatever uh, picture or artwork you want in there, and uh, yeah, so you've got great sound uh, without having to have uh, an unsightly uh, speaker taking up space on your wall or uh, on your, um, your, your sideboard.